Hi there and welcome to Plug and Guru's Quickie Review number 3. My name is John Skippy Lemkel and today we're going to be taking a look at Native Instruments The Finger. <laughs> this is an effect option you can add to the core player we talked about in Quickie number 2, which is free. Or it works with Core 2, Core 2 Software Edition, or with Reactor. And it will completely change... I like that, how you can use effects. Because now you can do it in real time. So we'll cover that with all sorts of cool tricks in a minute. But this first, video and all the other videos on the Plugin Guru channel are sponsored by PluginGuru.com, my website, where I sell patches for FM8, for Massive, for Stylus RMX, and I have drum loop libraries called Beatropolis. Go to PluginGuru.com. There's demo banks you can download to get a, a taste of some free patches for those virtual instruments I just mentioned. And there's audio demos there so you can uh, hear what's going on. Also, if you're seeing this on another video channel besides on my website, it's also available in 720p high definition video on the Plugin Guru website. So make sure you go there and download the longer version. All right, so let's take a look at the finger. Let's oops, me. have some fun. Um, we're going to show all sorts of different ways you can use this because it, it's useful for so much more than just, you know, it's, it's real time effects and it's more than that. So let's take a look. Video. Okay, we're going to take a look at the finger, but first I'm going to show it to you inside of Reactor to just give you a better picture of how it works. The, the concept is pretty huge and just showing it in in, inside of the core player, I don't think it's going to click quite the same way. So let me show you. The concept is this. Um, the, the people that did this, apparently one main programmer, one DJ, did this for his own sets. And uh, then Native Instruments talked to him and they've turned it into this thing called the finger. Basically, it is, let's see if we can do more here. It's this one ensemble that if you open up, you go to the effects blocks, there are all of these different effect blocks. They make all these different types of effects. You can go to the data rent. Let's see. Um, go into. I mean, it's quite complex what's going on to the signal to make all these different effects, right? Let's get out of there. When you click this list, here's the effects that were created through the making of that ensemble. And you have sync gate. You've got amp ring mod. You've got boost cut. You've got all sorts of glitchy things. You've got reverbs. What happens is inside of Reactor, you can play a note and then you, you go to this list and you change it to whatever you want it to be. Inside of the core player, you don't do that. You just call up these presets and they've already set up what it's going to be on each of the notes. And he tries to do it so that each, like each of the C sharps across the keyboard are all tempo strips. These are all loop chopping up and down in the, in the, in the splicing pieces. Um, snow and so forth is on A's. So I'm going to play this drum loop. And, and I'm just going to play notes. The, the cool thing with this is you're interacting by just playing notes on your keyboard while it plays, and then the effect is called in. If, if I'm playing like this, nothing's happening. It's just playing the dry signal through Reactor with this ready to go. And as soon as I hit a note, you can immediately start sync. You can combine. I can play just... Manipulate it in real time. And there's all these different presets. You go to Glitch Chopper, this is all specifically just for. So there you go. All this cool stuff here people do where it's, that sounds like it's, it took hours of chopping, and it used to be that you had to do it that way. You don't have to do it that way anymore. The finger simplifies it to where you just play keys on the keyboard, record it, and you're done. And then you can mix between the dry signal and the processed. You know, you'd want to do that the right way. But it sounds. So the finger all by itself. Let me show it to you now inside of core. Turn it on. So we're now inside of the core player. Get the volume back to the same so it sounds the same. I call
called up a couple of presets. Here is comb synth, which is cool for the. You play it and it's going to be synthesizer tones. sorts of surprises you don't know what you're gonna get so it's definitely a, an experimental interactive off you go let me show you real quick if we're gonna sequence this, this so I just sequenced it so I just hit play Now I can move this out of the way for a second. Play a roll. Okay, right there is silence, so something was wrong with what notes I played. So let's just transpose them and see if we can get something better. Yeah. So you can change the notes around. Let's take these guys and transpose them and do the four five six. It's really fun, man. Let me tell you, it's cool. So I'm just gonna... You get the idea. You're interacting with the drum loops or you could put your voice through this. If I wanted to take my microphone and have my voice go through this, it's as easy as doing that and going down to here, actually to here and... So my voice is going through this and I can mess up my voice anytime I want. You're gonna... Take this robot, and I'm a rem, you know. So I, I, you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, just you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, whoa. Hey, stop that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't touch that microphone. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, that's fun. That's fun. So, get yourself the core player for free and get ready to spend some money. Um, with 52 packs that are like $79 and up, um, you can spend a lot of money real quickly getting really cool things to use in your music. But there, you can't get this stuff anywhere else. There's nothing else that will do what I just did in real time while you're playing the notes on the keyboard. I mean, there's just, there's no way you can do this anywhere else. So thank you very much for listening to this clicky video. Um, don't forget to get some sound libraries from my Plugin Guru website, please. And uh, check in soon for uh, quickie number three. See ya.